The explosion of a nuclear reactor put Chernobyl on the map for the worst reasons. It's still considered the most serious nuclear accident in history. The memories are vivid 37 years later and fears of a fresh accident are ever more present since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. The country has 15 nuclear power plants, but the main focus is on Zaporizhia. Despite International Atomic Energy Agency warnings, there are daily reports of attacks in the region. Some experts say we're in greater danger now than in 1986. This situation is, in a certain way, worse. Because first, this is intentional, man-made, person-made attack. And it's very difficult to protect the nuclear power plant if the ammunition or missiles hit the wrong place. And then on top of that, power plant is deteriorating with the time. They have lack of spare parts. And all this together, you know, I, I think that we are heading to the wrong direction. Nuclear power seemed doomed, but the industry's been given a boost following the war in Ukraine and subsequent energy crisis. France tops the production table, with more than two-thirds of its electricity coming from nuclear. Russia's used energy as a weapon against the West, and even Germany has delayed the timetable for closing nuclear power plants. However, in a countercycle with much of Europe, Berlin shut down the last reactors this month. It's really quite a reprehensible action when they are still so reliant on fossil fuels. So in Europe alone, we're seeing uh, France looking to have a new build program, uh, the UK looking to build new reactors, uh, Poland looking to build its first reactors, Netherlands looking again, uh, Sweden, many other countries in Europe are looking now and turning to new nuclear build and also looking to extend the operation of their existing reactors. Germany stands alone in this, and so I think it is a very poor decision by uh, Germany to phase out its nuclear generation and still be so reliant on fossil fuels.